Okay, my first slide. Oh, okay, uh, my. What do you want? This one? Oh, no, no. okay, point. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, so and I would like to spend about 15 minutes and then talk about the cancer burden in China. And in China, we have the cancer registry, and uh, from, you, you, from this and, uh, slides, you, you will see that in the early beginning, we only have two counties have cancer registry after almost half a century, and, and uh, hard work, and uh, Professor Chen, uh, who is also uh, our member of the APOCP. And uh, so he, he spent a lot of time to establish, reestablish Chinese uh, cancer registry until now we have over 200. Uh, this is 2011, but until now we have all, over 200 cancer registry sites. You, you are seeing here the cancer registry sites is located in all of the, the China's about 14% uh, of the population, 185 million and the populations. And, and this uh, is the publication we um, annually and uh, publish uh, the cancer and the report. And uh, except one or two years, and then maybe uh, 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 some political issues we didn't publish, but the more, almost we publish every year, and the, so this is some registration site. And just, uh, and, uh, and uh, I think this year, this year we uh, published a big paper uh, in, uh, about the cancer statistics in China 2015. And the first author is Dr. Chen uh, in the uh, cancer, CNA uh, Cancer Journal uh, for Clinicians. And, uh, and uh, so my talk, and basically uh, is uh, take the data and from these publications. And uh, in, in year 2015, we have uh, over two, uh, 4.29 and a million new cases uh, in mainland China, and uh, 2.81 million of deaths is, uh, that is over 20% of the deaths and, uh, and uh, from the cancer uh, for over total case uh, deaths. And, uh, and this and, uh, and, uh, and the trend will continue rising and for the next 20 to 30 years based on our uh, projected data. O also, the medical expenditures is 10 billion US dollars per year. as huge and uh, uh, the disease burdens. And uh, uh, this table shows you uh, how and, and uh, the the case is distributed by a different organ site, and uh, this is uh, the total and uh, case numbers and uh, the incidence and the mortalities, and uh, by the male and females. So you will see and hear, and the uh, biggest uh, the disease burden is lung cancer, and here, and then uh, follow by the stomach cancer and. Uh, you know, esophageal cancer, upper chair cancers. That's his big disease burdens in China. And uh, as I said before, and uh, and uh, we have the and uh, big difference between the east coast of uh, high resource and uh, area, and comparison with the far west of low resource area. And we put on the we say the urban and the rural area. And you will see in here, and uh, there's a, a difference by different kind of the disease. Basically, the breast cancer and the lung cancer are more in the urban area, and the East Coast and the, the upper GI cancer, and also cervical cancer is more uh, in the uh, far uh, uh, west and under uh, development area. And uh, this is the mortality. Also, and it shows you a, a similar and a situation and the highlight, and here by the rural area and the females and the males and the urban area and also these totals. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also uh, did an analysis for the trend in cancer incidence rate, and uh, this uh, and the table shows you what is the annual percentage of change. 
and it, you, you will see and here esophageal cancer, stomach cancer, and also liver cancer, and they have uh, decreased, continually decreased because of the lifestyle change, and, uh, and I think that's a major and, uh, and factor uh, influence the, this uh, big change. But uh, we also observe the lung cancer increased and the breast cancer increased, and uh, very unfortunately, and the cervical cancer increased is the most um, the, the problems because of our country after our open door policies and our and lifestyle change and the, the people's uh, sexual behavior also change the, the way. This is the just the, the rate we observe the big change, but in fact we also observe the human papilloma virus exposure and also is continuous and increase in our young and, uh, and women. And, and uh, this is the figure and it shows you and, and by the male and the f female and uh, it's together is the, 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 the blue one and the, the green one is the male incidence of mortality and, uh, and the red one is the female and uh, incidence of mortality. And you will see uh, here, and uh, no matter the total, and both gender and the male and the females, they all observe the continual increase. But uh, I just want to you uh, have your attention, and uh, this is just shows the number of the new cancer cases and the deaths. And uh, because the population aging and also, and the, the another factors in inference. But if the no kind of the age standardize the instance of mortality, you will see in here almost it's a similar and a comparison now and 15 years ago, only except and the female and the cancer you see after so many years decrease, now there's an increase and the female cancer majority is breast cancer and the cervical cancer. And this is the age standardized incidence rate by select, select of cancers for females. Because the previous slide shows you the overall female cancer change. And now we put a more and a detail. You will see this is breast cancer. There's a, there's a change, an increase, uh, and a th thyroid the cancer as a similar like the Korea and in our countries change. And uh, also, we know we no kind of the other cancer more almost uh, similar. And this is the cervical. You will see cervical cancer is increased. This is bigger cervical cancer, female breast cancer, and also several cancers. It's extremely bigger. And uh, this is the trend in cancer mortality rates and uh, annually percentage change. And, and, uh, you will observe the esophageal, stomach, and the liver, and the decreased, and then we still have the cervical and the breast cancers increased. Mm. And uh, this uh, slide show you and more detail about uh, the cervical cancer rate change, and uh, uh, by years, you will see this is an urban area, and uh, this is a adjust, age adjust, uh, the incidence, and this is mortality, also uh, in crude rate and age adjust. You will see in the here, and the incidence increase, and the crude rate, the adjust rate, but the mortality has stayed and similar. This is the city, but if you look at the countryside, the rural area, you know, both incidence and the mortality we observed continue increase. So this is why, you know, and uh, when the doctor observes more and more young and uh, cervical cancer come to the clinic and uh, we did the age, average age of a cervical cancer instance analysis, we, we observe the, you know, the, the about five years younger than before and uh, most of the in the city. And uh, this is the mortality 
and for the trained or age standardized rate for selected cancers. And uh, you will see and here there's breast cancer and lung cancers. So, so and uh, the change is not a, mm -hmm. uh, and serious. And the last one is the five year and cancer survival and by the region. And as I said before, and we have the overall and uh, five years cancer survival is not good. And uh, the countryside is even worse. And uh, even you divide by the different geographical regions. In China, we divide our and the country has seven ge geographical region. So you will see the region and the southwest and the northeast, they have the north, and the, for the far west, they have, they have the, you know, the higher. Uh, so the cancer mortality spectrum by the year, so if you look at the 70s, uh, the, 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 the order and the, is the stomach, esophageal, and the liver, and the lung, and the cervix, this in the 70s. And the 90s, because this is the first time we did a national cancer uh, surveys. This is the second time we did a national cancer survey. So the stomach still the fir first one, then, and followed by the liver and the lung, and the esophageal and the colon rectum. So cerebral cancer is no longer and uh, in the first five. But in the third times national and, uh, and mortality survey, and uh, we observe the lung cancer become the number one and followed by the liver, stomach, and esophageal, and colorectin. And this is a recent year, the data shows us in the lung. And this is by the gender, in the male, and the lung, stomach, liver, esophagus, and, and the colorectin. And the, but the, but for the female, the breast it becomes the number one, and the lung, and the stomach, and the colorectin, and the esophageal. And the cervical is the sixth one. Okay, so I just want to make a summary and uh, cancer burden is high in China. So if we not action now, the health expenditure will be blown out and the prevention priority chosen by importance of the cancer area by available and feasible and affordable. So we want to and uh, implement a different kind of cancer control strategies. So we also need to make sure they sustain the government long-term investment and promote the uh, NGOs, the society, and the community, and the population environment. And the last one, we need expanding and improving our capacity of the demonstration centers, networks, and the consortiums, and move the program from the rural area to the city and, the, and to the whole nations. So I would like to stop in here and thank you for your attention. Very much, you then. Have we any questions? Yes, please. Okay. Unfortunately, the speaker, the mic is not working. Thank you once again for your presentation. You always divide your data for rural and uh, urban because uh, it's less accessible for rural people when it comes to healthcare or there is some inertia in rural areas among patients. See, rural patients are less interested in their health or is it less accessible? Healthcare is less accessible in rural areas. And, and in, in China, in the first few slides I show you, our majority of the medical facilities are located in the city. So in the, in the rural area, the people cannot get access to health care. That's the number one. And number two is the funding, because there's more money in the city. So the, the city people have, have higher health care mm -hmm. coverage, and in the countryside, they almost don't have the health insurance coverage. Just recent years, our new government tried to reestablish our new health system. In, in the past, under our you know, and previous leader, they have totally different ideas. We 
used to be have very good healthcare system. We have the birth doctor, and they provide the premier premier healthcare to the people. But after sometimes uh, our country leader want to learn from the United States, want to learn from the another country. So they cancel our health care system for the over 20 years. The people just don't have health care at all. So in some city and some county, even the governors, they totally sold out the public hospital. One of the cities in the Yangcheng, Jiangsu province, the, the, the governor become to this, the very, very rising star because he did the political reform and just sold out all of the public school, public health hospital. So that is not, that is bad. Now we not want to try to go back to reestablish our health system and provide universal coverage and this is for the every people who have the right to get access to health care. Thank you very much. I have another question. I read about Chinese population and that uh, uh, it's aging because of the one child policy. What about uh, incidence of uh, cancers? Do you see the growth in cancer in cancer incidence due to the aging population? And uh, this is why they, when I show this slides, mm -hmm. if you just look at the you know, the numbers, we observe the continue increase for the every category. But if we do the age adjusted analysis, yeah. only a few, like the breast cancer, cervical cancer, and the lung cancer, only a few cancers they, they increase, but the majority of cancer, either they stay the same or decrease. You always mean uh, cervical cancer and breast cancer. Uh, do you link it to the fact that you that your women have less births, less children? Uh, I, I think the the cervical cancer, the cause is, is the human papilloma virus exposure, right? So that's not uh, related with uh, the child. For the breast cancer, maybe, maybe, but we don't. You know, we, 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 we don't have the very solid data and uh, to link the white child policy to the breast cancer increase. Maybe nobody wants to do that. I, I don't know, maybe mm, sometime later the people can do some analysis. But before, the people always talk about this hypothesis, but nobody, yeah. you know. Well, and make the well multi-parity, of course, is, is a well-known risk factor for cervical cancer as well. But what you need to stress is that your cervical cancer is still not within the top five cancers in females. That's it's right. still a relatively low problem. That's anyway, right. David Roder has a, a question. Okay. Sure. Yeah, thank you. Um, very interested to hear about your strategy in setting priorities for establishing cancer registries. There's been quite a rapid growth in numbers mm -hmm. of registries. Right. You're trying to get a national picture, uh, and yet um, probably the registries are more urban and not in some of the sparser rural areas where there isn't the health infrastructure. I'm just wondering what your strategies are to develop your registries, how to try and get a national picture uh, mm -hmm. when the registries are developing a bit unevenly due to infrastructure, and ultimately, do you intend to get saturation coverage of this huge country? with cancer registries, or are you going to try and get se you know, se seminal sites where mm -hmm. you infer from? Just interested quickly in your strategy. Right. So uh, I, I think you raised very, very critical questions. This issue we discussed many, many times in China. The people say, you know, even like the Minister of Health and the Finance, they say how what many people you want to register, right? What is the percentage? Okay, for, from my point of view, I think that is enough. So we, we cannot do the registry, you know, for everybody. But I'm, personally, I'm very much like, if the people can link it, their data to the healthcare, like the Australia and some countries, they have universal coverage. I hope our country also has 100% universal coverage. Even they have universal coverage, everybody gets the same, go to the hospital, hospital keep the record. And cancer registry, actually just some epidemiologists doing the people, they don't do the registry. Even they have a right, 
access to the hospital record. Security. And also the, uh, some, you know, and, and we call the Public Security Bureau because they, they control the people, the death information. For example, they died, you know, they, 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 you know, they, they report to the Public Security Bureau. That is, you know, two bureau, hospital, and the Public Security Bureau. Even put a, that linkage together, they can get the information for everybody. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. Okay.